What a day. Yeah, what a 24 hours. And what a way to send off the Old Dominion seniors in their final homestand. Here's the pitch. Swung on, bloop shot. Going back, it's going to get down. It wasn't until 1 o'clock Sunday morning when Ryan Teshko blooped one just over the second baseman's head. Matt Kootenay came home to score, and the Monarchs took down Marshall on a walk-off single in 12 innings. A few hours later, 10 seniors on the team replaced the jerseys with caps and gowns for commencement, only to come back to the bud Sunday afternoon. This one's in the air. And then in the bottom of the ninth, with the game knotted at four, one of those seniors, Matt Gagliardi, sends the game winner screaming over the scoreboard. To see Brock come running around second base with that big smile, and all the guys are waiting for him at the plate, and he throws the helmet up, and, you know, it's just, that's kind of what it's all about. That's back-to-back -back walk off wins, both in less than 24 hours. I think I fell asleep by 9 o'clock last night. We were all exhausted. And, um, you know, just really proud of the guys that keep fighting. And, you know, we're, uh, we're still right there in the mix of things. The series sweep guaranteed the Monarchs a spot in the upcoming Conference USA tournament. The confidence piece of that is immensely important. And momentum is immensely important. And it keeps Chris Finwood's team in the conversation for an at-large bid to an NCAA regional at the end of the season. We're knocking at the door, um, but you got to keep winning. And uh, then you're going to have to win a few in the tournament and see where you're at. And, you know, um, it's definitely still got to be one game at a time. You know, we've got a chance to finish second uh, if we can if we can play well down the stretch. The Monarchs have an RPI of 49, which is good, but they still have work to do if they hope to earn an at-large bid to an NCAA regional. They're scheduled for a game at VMI, and then they travel to Western Kentucky to wrap up the season this weekend. With the Monarchs, Nathan Epstein for the Sport Trap. Thank you, Nathan. Right now, Baseball America has ODU projected to play in Blacksburg, that regional with Virginia Tech, Wofford, and Coppin State. Now, wouldn't that be something? If the Monarchs can get an at-large bid, an updated projection list will be released on Wednesday this week.